Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of John Can, You Can. And I know everybody can, if they really want to have fun, get it done. Here is a <laughs> picture of, or a video of my uh, table design. I uh, took a 18 by 12 cutting board that is a half inch thick. You can find it on Amazon. And I cut the corners at an angle so I went five inches to one side and five inches down and then I drew the angle right so five inches five inches and then you draw the angle so if it's 18 inches wide and you've done a five inch angle on one side a five inch angle on the other you have an eight inch front right because 10 minus 18 right is eight so you have your eight inch angle in the front Anyway, that's what it looks like when it's down. I used uh, a pair of stainless steel hinges, which you can also find on Amazon. And I put the table a little bit to one side more than the other. And not just because of the wires, but because some people need a little more space than others uh, when they're sitting down. And so I figured, hey, Let's just take care of that because once the table's on, you just you can't like slide it back and forth, right? So I gave anyone that may come to visit, say hi, hey, let me see your camper or or whatever. They have a little more space and feel a little more comfortable there. So that's what that's all about. And let me show you. Now I'm going to step inside. Uh, the campers on my little cart, I show you that in another video, but I'm going to start stepping inside and I may have to flip the video because the closer I get, of course, it's going to look like this thing is monstrous and it's not. It's 18 by 24, 18 wide, 24 long, which is good because these cabinets are 27, a little longer than 27. They're probably about 30 inches long. And uh, so with, and the height of the cabinet is about 22 or three and then you have uh, two inches of padding which is 24 so that's why I set the table height at 28 inches but because it's only a half inch thick it doesn't take up a lot of space when you sit down so I, yeah if I get too close it's gonna be a problem so I'm gonna turn the video sorry and then <laughs> I'm going to come in and I'm going to raise the tabletop I'm gonna try to get back far enough to do this where you can see it wow amazing Okay, so I'm starting to raise it. Can you see it going up? There it goes, it's going up. And it clicks into place. So there it is. That's level and it's up. And you can see there's space on each side. It looks like a lot because the table is far away from the, well, not far away, just a little bit away from the edge. But if I put my hand up and down, you can see right here, you know, and uh, I move it across, you can see it's only, you have another inch and a half there. So it's about uh, four, four fingers in my hand, and then two more inches. So, but you can sit comfortably underneath because here's my hand up. My hand is up to palm and it just touches. So plenty of room to sit down comfortably and enjoy whatever you, it, uh, desire to drink so that is my table and of course you saw it close down flat I have a pedestal table that telescopes up and lands at almost the same height as this does however once the pedestal is there it is a little cumbersome to work with these cabinets on the side this cabinet and this cabinet it's hard to maneuver around it because it absorbs the space where you see the screws so if I put my hand down there maybe that shows you how big it is right like that's uh yeah pretty big so it takes up space and it's and then if you want to be working on something under there if you want to work on it or let's say you want to get into this cabinet here and you want to manipulate your inverter or your battery or you need to look at something this is in the way it's hard to pull it out. It's hard to move around. Very, very cumbersome. But I love that telescope table when I'm not having to do any kinds of things like that because it also sits perfectly as it comes down on the seam on each side here and becomes that uh, bed area. So 
but you can also just make a platform using several pieces of thinner pieces of wood and put them across or other material and you can actually just re um you know reconfigure the uh, padding or make your own even and have an even bigger area to sleep in so it's up it's up to you the sky's the limit i really really dig or like my camper a lot and um i'm having fun getting it done and under here i uh, have stainless steel brackets because stainless steel is going to last and it's not going to rust and they're uh, good quality they're hold uh, 550 pounds that's way more than i'm gonna do i'm not gonna use it as a diving board <laughs> or or put the dog on it but uh, it's nice to know that um, it's sturdy right it's sturdy but i'm gonna also put a little circular um, sleeve on here a round sleeve with a with a a, a, a little lip on it that stainless steel about right there in the middle and I'm going to put a little pole that goes down the telescopes, just a teeny one, a little, a one thin pole that goes up and touches right there so that it makes this even more sturdy. So that when you're sitting down, if you put weight on it, it doesn't bend because no matter what you do, it's going to bend a little because the material. So, but having that, just that one tiny little telescope leg will be nice just as a stabilization, but it can be easily popped off. And then of course you can just hit these clicking levers right here. You just got one lever here and one on the other side, right? So if I click on both like that, the tabletop will come down. So, and that's what you wanna do if you wanna release your table, right? So, and then down it goes. And there you have your table up against the wall again.